Well, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, let's get it on. From here starts the speaking test. This is the speaking mock test of the International English Language Testing System taking place in Rossiyos Academy. The candidate is Hadi Boshtani. The candidate number is 0141327 The examiner is Joseph. Examiner number 443533. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Joseph. Would you please tell me your full name? My full name is Hadi Boshtani. And what can I call you? Uh, just call me Hadi. All right. Can I see your identification, please? Yes, sure. Excuse me. Here you are. Thanks. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, um, in the first part of the exam, I will ask you some personal questions. First, I'd like to ask you about your family. Do you have a large extended family? Mm, not actually. I have a small, fa I have a small family. Uh, I have a two sisters and I'm the middle child. Well, what do you do together with your family? Uh, usually, we are, uh, we, we often uh, gather together in sitting room and watch a movie or something. And why is family important to you? Uh, uh, definitely family is so important. Uh, one of, uh, and uh, family uh, can give you a personality and uh, yes. Now let's move on to talk about websites. What kinds of websites do you often visit? I often visit uh, the, websites, the websites like uh, IELTS online test because of my IELTS. And uh, I usually want to use the websites like uh, website, English website for improving my English. And what is your favorite website? Uh, uh, actually, I, I love watching movie uh, and uh, for example, the website called uh, Filimo in Iran and uh, Eva like this. How can some websites help you study? Uh, one of the best websites that uh, can help me uh, online test IELTS because uh, I I train a lot with, the, with this website. All right, now let's move on to talk about photography. Do you like taking photos? Uh, actually, I, I'm not a person who take, take photos, but I like it, yes. And uh, do you want to improve your photography skills? Uh, I like to learn it, I like to learn it, uh, but uh, I like to learn uh, important than photography, <laughs> learn something important than photography. Do you prefer to take pictures with your phone or a camera? I like with my, actually with my phone because it's easy for me. Mm -hmm. Now uh, this is the end of part one. In part two I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about it for two minutes. Before you talk, you'll have one minute to think about what you're going to say. And you can make notes if you wish. But don't worry if I stop you. Do you understand? Yes. Uh, the topic is, talk about a situation where you had to tell a lie to your friend. Here's the cue card and the pen. And you have one minute for a preparation time.
All right, your one minute preparation time is over. You can okay. start speaking now. Okay, uh, I want to talk about a lie. Uh, it's, uh, it was uh, eight months ago, uh, and uh, when I want to uh, when I want to travel to my uh, hometown, uh, I lie I I was lie lying with to my friend. Uh, uh, for example, uh, they told me, uh, "Can you can you could you could you hang out with us?" Uh, and I say I I said, "No, I can't. I couldn't." And uh, because. Uh, I don't like to hang out with, uh, with them, and just I want I wanted to watch movie uh, in my home in my home, and then tomorrow that time I want to I wanted to travel to my home hometown, and uh, I felt I it's I'm I, I was wrong because uh, always I uh, I think I I have to. Uh, tell the truth to my friends, and because they are uh, truth with me, and uh, yes, that's all. Uh, do you want to add anything else? Anything else? Uh, yes. Uh, the, when I, when uh, I'm, I was sitting, I was sitting in my coach, our coach, and. Uh, uh, my friend hang, hanging, uh, my friend were hanging to me, and yes, with my phone, I, and I told them, no, I, I couldn't, I couldn't hang out with you. Thank you very much. Your two minutes is up, and this is the end of part two. Would you please hand me back yes. the pen and the piece of paper? Thank you. Well. Let's move on to part three. We've been talking about a situation where you had to tell a lie to your friend. And I'd now like to ask you some questions related to this topic. When is it acceptable to lie? Uh, I think uh, the lie is accepted uh, when, for example, you are in the uh, in worst situation and for example, dangerous situation. I think everyone can l uh, tell lie, and uh, but uh, in total, I don't like uh, lying, and I want just I have I, I'm a person who always tell truth to others. All right. What do you think about the fact that everybody? has lied at least once. Uh, well, has, uh, excuse me, can you explain I'll more? I'll explain. go again. I'll repeat the question. What do you think about the fact that everybody has lied at least once? Uh, the real lie or lie for, for example, uh, help to, uh, to others? Real lie, li the real lie, well, you have to answer the question. In fact, uh, I think uh, always uh, tell the truth can help us uh, to solve, the, solve our problems. And uh, as I told you, uh, when, when we, are, we are, for example, in the dangerous situation and we forced to uh, tell lie, we can tell, tell lie to others. Do you think we can lie to our friends and family? Uh, not actually. Uh, I, I always tell the truth to my family or friend. Uh, but uh, it depends uh, that uh, situation. It depends every situation. And um, do you find it acceptable to lie about your feelings to someone because you don't want to hurt them. Uh, I think uh, it's uh, not a. It it is a bad. It is the worst uh, things in the world to lie uh, the friends or some someone 
can, for example, broke their hearts, and for example, he, uh, they think about us the bad person. <laughs> And uh, has anybody ever lied to you about their real identity? Uh, real? Uh, has anybody ever lied to you about your, about their real identity? Excuse me. Real identity? Yes. Uh, I uh, I can understand the meaning of the uh, question. I know what you say. What, for example, the real, the real level. Has anybody ever lied to you about their real identity? That's real the identity. question. Okay. And uh, I think I don't like uh, I don't like uh, somebody are uh, reliable uh, to everyone. Uh, I want I I prefer to make a friendship with uh, everyone can be a uh, truth, for example, a truth person and. There are a lot of people who, in the world, uh, that uh, they are, for example, fake, and always can tell us the, for example, uh, the uh, rely, the lie, lying things. Have you experienced such an occasion when a person has lied to you? Yes, uh, actually, in, uh, one uh, week ago. Uh, I tell uh, to my uh, friend, for example, can, can you can you hang up with me to Ras Academy for IELTS testing? And uh, he told me, not actually. I'm not I'm not at home uh, from morning to night. And uh, I think uh, it's not real. Uh, it's not truth. Uh, and he can he could uh, come here with me. All right, thank you very much. This is the end of the speaking test. Now you can take a deep breath and relax. And give me two, two minutes time in order to review your performance and how you did during the test. Okay. Thank you. Silver and VIP. This package is comprised of the offline educational videos for the four skills, including listening, reading, writing, and speaking. In these videos, you will learn all the necessary techniques that you will need to apply for the IELTS exam. Apart from the educational videos, you will have full access to enormous resources to practice the strategies that you learn. Once you finish your course, you will have two and four online mock tests of speaking along with comprehensive feedback under the same conditions in silver and VIP courses respectively. Also, you can send us your writings to be checked out and receive comprehensive feedback on those. You will also have 60 three-level British-based podcasts produced by the Academy, not only to help you improve your listening, but also to enhance your vocabulary range and pronunciation. In addition to all the mentioned resources, you will be provided with useful grammar and collocation files to get your target score with a better level of knowledge. Join us and become our next successful candidate. All right, welcome back. Thanks. Now uh, we can review how you did in your uh, speaking test. And as you may also know, there are four major criteria for uh, assessing and evaluating your speaking performance. Uh, fluency and coherence is the first one, lexical resource, grammatical range and accuracy, and pronunciation. Um, let's start with fluency and coherence. Well, uh, of course, uh, you, uh, uh, would, you, you really like to speak at length. You uh, try to maintain the flow of speech, but uh, I think your nervousness uh, blocked your uh, capability to move ahead and go ahead with your speaking. It's very important to uh, have a management over your stress and nervousness. This is first of all. And uh, second, you need to use more uh, 
a, a wider variety of connectives because you just used and, so, but in order to connect and link different sentences to each other. Try to use a wider variety of uh, connectives like however, um, even though, and since those connectives that make your sentences uh, diverse and uh, gives this impression that uh, you are able to speak at length. So try to use them, diversify uh, the connectives, and uh, also you need to uh, try boosters. Before starting to give the answer, you have to use those boosters, uh, like in my opinion, or that's a difficult question. Let me think about it. And uh, all of those uh, boosters, and you also can use fillers. When you're not certain what to say, you can use, you know, or sort of, or I think, I believe. All of those uh, phrases can help you buy some time to provide an accurate answer to the question. So try to use them in order to increase your band score. Uh, so when it com comes to lexical resource, or vocabulary, uh, you did have, um, you, you managed to uh, talk about familiar topics, um, but you, when you want to elaborate more and explain about uh, the answers and uh, back up your answers using examples, you failed. You did fail to provide uh, detailed answers to the question because of your, um, perhaps, uh, weak vocabulary treasure. Try to increase your uh, diversity of vocabulary. Try to use a wider range of vocabulary. And plus, you need to paraphrase. You need to uh, rephrase the question of the examiner before starting to answer. I say, for example, uh, tell me about the advantages and disadvantages of um, sunglasses, for example. You, you should say, uh, the pros and cons of sunglasses. Yes, I want to tell you, for example. So, rephrase the question and then begin with the answer. Uh, it's very important. And you did have a couple of uh, mistakes uh, in the vocabulary section. Um, uh, for example, you said, uh, it, it depend on it, it, depend, it depends too, not on. You need to uh, pay closer attention. Of course, this is also, this, this has to do with the grammatical uh, range and accuracy, but you need to pay attention to prepositions as well. And uh, you said uh, they are truth to me. You're, you were talking about your friends and you said they are truth to me. They are honest with me. You know what I'm talking about? So uh, you have to pay closer attention to those uh, subtle issues in order to increase your a band score and enhance the level of your performance. So let's go to grammatical uh, range and accuracy. So in this part, uh, you faced um, some difficulties uh, when it comes to using compound structures and complex structures. Uh, you did not use conditional sentences, subordinate clauses, and relative clauses. You only used simple forms of the sentences. And uh, so you need to use complicated and more complex structures in order to increase your band score. And uh, you made a couple of mistakes here in the grammatical section. Uh, you were talking about uh, the past and you said, um, uh, we want to travel. You have um, to add ED, we wanted to travel when you're talking about a past event. Um, a person who take, a person who takes, um, uh, to, to tell the truth, you said, to telling the truth. And uh, those mistakes, of course, uh, will mark you down. Pay attention, be careful with those mistakes. Try to um, hone them and try to fix them uh, in order to get a higher band score. Uh, so, and when it comes to pronunciation, uh, you were okay in terms of pronunciation. You were clear, but in some instances, and in some occasions, you uh, mispronounced, for example, the sound B. Try to uh, say the sound and utter the exact same sound um, that you use. You said probe hearts. Uh, and I think uh, 
you should have said broke our hearts. He said broke. I did not really understand and sometimes it damages clarity. You have to be careful how to pronounce uh, those sounds and words. Wish you all the best. Uh, so your final uh, band score would be four and you, uh, you have to pay attention to what I said today and bear in mind the tips and you will definitely increase your band score next time. Thank you very much. Thanks and a good lot. Luck.